It's happened time and time again. An innocent person killed by a drunk driver. For Teleforo Torres, getting arrested was a wake-up call he says he desperately needed. I ended up going to a party, right? Um, went to the bar, you know, had a couple of drinks, think, oh, I'm okay to drive, you know, go to an after party, leave the party. Coming back home is when I ended up getting stopped. You know, and so, of course, they got me for driving under the influence. But one that was hard to take when it came his way. It was just kind of horrible, really. I mean, experience getting arrested, you know, going through being bailed. And um, it, it wasn't something that was really nice. Still, it was something Teleforo says he needed to go through in order to change his ways. Luckily for him, it was only that one arrest and no one was injured in the process. But had he not been caught, he believes the outcome could have been different and he could have taken a life. I don't know how I would be able to live with myself if I would have caused something like that. You know, it's just, it's terrible and it happens all the time. He now spends his days educating people about drinking and driving and uses his story as an example of what could happen. Quite frankly, don't want to see it happen to other people. You know, it happened to me and it's unfortunate and it happens all the time and it really is unfortunate, especially during the holidays, you know. Mm -hmm. It's something that if I can prevent one person from doing it, then at least I'm one step closer. If he prevents one person from getting behind that steering wheel after a night of partying, he says he's done his job. In McAllen, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.